California, we got my man, Zulu Gremlin. How you doing, Grams? I'm cool, and it's good to see you guys, Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Good to see you guys doing your thing. Yeah, so, Ark, why did you pick Grams to uh, be on the show today? So, for the better part of the last two years, I've been actually going to this event that's held in the Bay Area called Rock the School Bells. It's a great event that brings all four elements together in a really positive and educational way. It's free to the public. So, I've been taking a lot of kids out there, and there's a lecture called Hip Hop 360. The first time that I saw it, it was run by Zulu Grams and Ken Swift. It's a really, really dope presentation that brings all of the elements together in a really uh, concise way, actually. My man goes as far back as the Jamaican sound system yes. from then to yes. now, and uh, all around a great hip hop historian. There was on the PBS uh, channel, there was a show called In the Mix, and I actually saw Zulu Gremlin on there, and he talked about it was him, Fable, and Wiggles. They talked about how important it is. To be whatever element you do in hip hop is to be a hip hop historian. And just to, for some facts, when I did the footwork tutorial, when I talked about the three different styles of footwork, I actually, it wasn't my idea, it was actually Zulu Gremlin, who ta we talked in a plane going to Miami, oh, and he talked about the three different styles of footwork. So it was actually Zulu Gremlin that mentored me in a lot of my, actually, in my breaking career. So, uh, Grams, tell us how important it is to have, to know the history of whatever element, or actually all the elements of hip hop. Well, you know, I mean, it depends on from person to person in terms of how much they care about what they do. But integrity is important. Respect is important. What we do, we do for love and respect more than we do for money. Right. And so that being said, it's really great and it's a good feeling inside to be respected by your peers, by your, the people that laid the bricks before you. We're part of a lineage and whether we want to be a part of it or not, we're all part of history because hip hop is a living organism. It's right. still alive. We've right. all contributed right. and we all have earned our ways in it. Yeah. It's not like we were put there because someone just knew us. It was we all earned our way. And we always use that the term blood, sweat and years is because B boying and B girling of any dance style accepted under the street dance umbrella is one of the most difficult to learn because it takes so much yeah. time yeah. and effort and yeah. dedication. Yeah. So when you dedicate that much time, it's good to know that the first two pillars of hip hop culture is no biting and no repeating. Right. Because if you start going down the wrong track of copying someone else, then you're already offending the people you're trying to impress. That Then going into that mentality of, of lineage and, and respect, then it's really important to just know that in every city, there's some dudes that have been doing it, females that have been doing it, and you fit in that puzzle, and in the future, there'll be young kids, and we want to have that same respect. Right. We want to continue that same respect. We want people to say, yo, I know Profo, I know his brother, and he's to come in and do that shit, and we want it to be that, real. Right, right, right. We want it to be that. People know region to region, the heroes yeah. and the celebrities, the ghetto celebrities of every region, right. and that right there is part of that process of knowing your history because we're part of it already. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, 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 like right. we went for the Young Bucks, being afraid to get in the battle, testing out our skills, losing some, winning some, starting to teach, elevating the theater, dance, whatever it is. Those are all things we choose to do. We can be this age and we can still battle if we want. We've yeah. seen a competitor at 60 years old yeah, getting down. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about the love. You know that he's not doing that for a paycheck, he's doing that for love. So that's a really great thing to know that in the realm of competition because that's the duality in our life right. artistic expression and we appreciate the art right. and who did the right. art yeah. yeah and then the competitive element is knowing who how to respect them and why to respect them for what they've done because right. that's how we build our names yeah. you know right. building your name to get fame in the game is all about skill level and it's always been for hip-hop culture yeah so you can be in some country and get mad props from people all over the world for having that skill level. Right. And then all of a sudden you're part of their history. Right. So we're part of so many different people's histories yeah. and their lineages. Yeah. And sometimes we're part of things that we are we can even say what not to do because we're all young, right. having fun, and you learn what not to do in the process of it. Right. Making right, the right, mistakes right. is part of that journey. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's real. just it's, it's really important, man. Like not just for us, but they didn't institutionalize what we do because it was so loosely knit. Right, right, right. Now that we try to get it closely knit, they want to institutionalize it more and more. Right, right. You don't want to be left out of that history yeah. right, right, or right, our right. story. Right, right, right. You don't want to be left out when college students are studying it and they're studying people from around the world but not people in America. Yeah, yeah. So this is part of it. It's like, you know, and we want that the same in Europe or anywhere else. We want people to say, you know, we know people for a specific thing that they contributed. Yeah. 
and that's the best thing is that we we're taught to stand in line we're taught to look the same we're taught to raise our hand and all those things cool hip-hop defies that and say no you have your own voice right. and there's only one you yeah. and you can only be you right. and that's the greatest part of it too because yeah. then I can talk forever just about the accomplishments of one person and then when you mention something like rock the school bells and you humbling yourself to come and sit down and listen to stuff you probably already know it's a humbling experience to refresh yourself because it helps you reinvent yourself yes. right. and that's what we have to do every single year yes. right, 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 just right. to stay relevant yeah, yeah. Exactly. and that's the best thing about this too as well is that people came here with an intent and with a desire and with a hunger right. and those are the things that you don't want to interrupt right yeah you yeah, want to exactly. give them their yeah chance. yeah exactly yes. so if you don't know like Zulgrams was a gypsy for like maybe like the late 90s to the early 2000s he was a uh, he was in LA then he went to New York then he went to Miami to help set the Miami Pro-Am then he went to Cali he did the break the assassins if you don't know he played an influence in all those areas and again that's why Ark has him and that's why I'm talking about him how's it feel now that You've been in the hip hop game for like what since 1979 or so, like being around, like seeing it. How's it feel to be still in it? Today was a humbling experience. There's so many young people, so many new people, and most of them don't know their history. Right. So they're walking right through me, bumping into me to go say hello to some kids that know me, uh, that grew up in right. events that I've done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so it's a funny <laughs> thing. I'm humble, and I'm not one of those people that with my head in the clouds, so I don't ever feel that disrespect or anything right. but it's a new place a new generation they need to know their history they need to know who's in the room they need to show that respect because they're gonna be that soon right, you know what I'm saying? right, right. but in that respect um, you know there's a lot of different energy now and the energy is very consolidated to the competitive spirit and I always like seeing the ciphers, which I saw one in the back or two in the back, yeah. which is great to see. I was thinking about stepping in one of those ciphers just to hang out with the younger kids that may be a little bit intimidated with the level of competition. Because right, right, that's right. what I've always done. Yeah, you yeah. know, as an event pro producer and promoter, I've always made it a very a special moment for me to find little kids in the corner that are just getting their feet wet right. and cipher with them a little. Nice. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that's one of the things that I look at always with these is an opportunity to go inspire some young kids and they probably don't even know who I am. Right, right, just right, like right. some old dude thinks he's dope and was hanging out with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then as well, like it's always like a reunion. Any yeah. event like this yeah, is always a reunion. For sure, for sure. Though I live in LA and some of these people are in LA, I don't see them very much. Uh, members of my former crews, members of people I worked with on Broadway and theater, on stage, uh, in San Francisco, LA, Miami, New York, everywhere all in one room. Uh, where can they find you on your social media platform? Uh, I'm at Zulu Gremlin and at ZuluGremlin.com. And my, my, you know, I have a bunch of aliases. Right. So King ZG is all my music under my Zulu Gremlin publishing name. All right. I produce a bunch of music, have a bunch of records out with a bunch of rappers from Florida, Miami, South America, Central America. Yo. I do events with uh, Hip Hop International in 53 countries now. We have right, 53 right. countries competing, yep. which is great. Um, we do the world battle, and so we have 16 countries with that. They're very undercard. Nobody knows really knows about it because most of the emphasis is it, it's a working mechanism that's already been running, mm -hmm. so they don't have, like, the reach. Right, right. So, you know, little by little people are hearing about it, but it's a great other opportunity for kids, cash value, and an opportunity to go work in so many countries. Once again, big shout-out, big mahalo, big thank you to the one and only Zulu Grimm.